welcome back to my channel as always i am very excited for today's video and this one as you can tell from the title is going to be all about how to create a workout split now before we get into all of that hi my name is samantha or sammy for short and i'm a certified personal trainer and young mom and if that's something you're interested in and you're not subscribed to this channel already what are you doing hit subscribe and the notification bell so you can be informed when i upload more videos like this on fridays it is more advice tips and lifestyle based and on Sundays, you'll be able to watch my at-home workout videos with my new series, Start Strong and End Stronger. Also, while you're at it, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Samantha, five underscores, and yes, it is five underscores because my name is very popular. Also, go follow me on TikTok at Sammy for short. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's jump in to the video. Now when beginning with this topic, we definitely want to discuss what exactly is a workout split. Basically a workout split is how to organize and separate the specific muscle groups that you want to target on what days. And when we're looking at this, sorry to say it, but there is no right or wrong answer. And I know a lot of people are going to think that's a cop out and wanted me to specifically tell you exactly how you should write your plans. But unfortunately, I can't do that. It is going to vary from person to person. It depends on how many days a week they can realistically work out, how beginner or advanced that they are in their journey, what they're trying to target, what their goals are, what their health issues are. There's so many different factors to look at when creating a workout split. So I can't give you a right or wrong answer, but I can give you some examples. So generally speaking, some of the more common examples are three and five day splits. So examples of three day splits for a very beginner, a lot of times you'll see three day splits where it is consisting of an upper body day, a lower body day and a full body day. That's a great example right there. You, you can get all your muscle groups in at that point. So upper body, you'll be doing a bit of everything. Back, chest, biceps, triceps, and shoulders. And lower body, you'll be getting glutes, calves, thighs, quads, hamstrings, all of that good stuff. Full body, you'll get a whole mix of all of it. And somewhere in there, you do want to be adding cardio. And also full body, you might want to add some core in there. That's great for a beginner or anyone who doesn't necessarily want to split it into each individual muscle group. It gives a broader sense of what you're working that day. But for people who would like to split it up into each specific muscle in that area, another three day split idea could be day one, back, biceps, and abs. Day two, chest, triceps, and cardio. And day three, lower body, shoulders, and abs again. And it can also be any mix of those things. Maybe you wanna do the cardio twice a week, the abs only once. Maybe you wanna do shoulders with back and lower body with biceps or chest. It is completely dependent on the individual. Now, an example of a five day split could be upper body, lower body, full body, upper body, lower body, something like that, or interchanging any of those. Generally speaking though, most people do a five day split and separate it into each specific muscle group. I am just going to give you my workout. Now I do want to have a disclaimer. I'm not telling you this is the end all be all. I switch up my workout splits every month or so because I get very used to the workouts. I won't get into that at the end, but I just want you to know that just because this is what I do does not mean it is exactly what you should be doing, especially if you're a beginner. Keep in mind, I've been working out for quite a number of years now and I am a certified trainer. So therefore it's going to be a bit different for me than it will be for you. The current workout program that I follow day one is full body. I use as my hit day or high intensity interval training to get some cardio in because I'm not the biggest fan of cardio. I get that in there as well as having that strength workout, but it is in a circuit fashion. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone. Day two is core and biceps, triceps, and shoulders. And I do not do any cardio on this day at all. Day three, I do lower body, which is specifically targeting my glutes and hamstrings. And I also do the Stairmaster. That is the only form of cardio I like because I don't feel so much like I'm doing cardio. I feel like I'm working on my glutes. And that is kind of my most important goal for me 
is to get those booty gains so it's worth it to me day four is core back and chest and then i also try to throw the elliptical in there just for about 10 15 minutes and then finally day five we're back at the lower body i try to target calves and thighs with this but i still get a little bit of glutes in there and then for fun i try to end my workout week with a little dance workout at home which usually helps a lot with that lower body we, we can kind of tell where my goals lie and again this is just an example of a workout you could interchange any of those maybe when you do core you want to do glutes maybe you only want to do lower body one day a week you want to do shoulders three days a week it's going to depend on your goals your needs your abilities your health so many little factors and that's oftentimes why people do reach out to trainers because they don't know how to even comprehend putting it all into a program for themselves if you are interested in trying to create your own program then here are some things to consider the first thing that you should consider is what is your goal now i've mentioned to you that recently my goal has been to grow my glutes so i do two specific lower body days and then my full body day i forgot to mention that yes i'm doing upper body and core as well but i do a lot of movements that are compound movements that generally start to activate in my glutes so i do three days of lower body and my workout routine right now caters to that but a month ago my workout routine catered to my upper body because i was trying to work on getting more definition in my arms specifically my triceps and my workout routine and split looked a lot different if i was doing upper body three times a week and lower body one and a half the next thing to consider is how often are you realistically able to work out you can't make a five day split if you can only get to the gym or work out in your home three times a week it's not possible you're going to feel down on yourself and it's not worth it a lot of times i do get clients when i ask them this question they'll be like oh i'll come every day but they've never worked out a day in their life it's like let's hold off let's start small usually i would say a very good number if you are eager to get into the gym is three if you're very aware and conscious that you need to slowly step in one is better than nothing and then you slowly gradually work your way up but three is a solid number if you can make it five great if you already been working out for a while and now you're just trying to switch up your goals and everything then stick with whatever days you got or if you want to add another one on go for it just be honest with yourself number three is do you want to target similar muscles in the day for more maximal strength or do you want to alternate between the areas that you are working giving more of a peripheral heart action a lot of times people work chest and triceps because they can involve very similar movements or muscle action and so they will put those together in a day but sometimes people like to completely switch it up and do shoulders and lower body and that alternates where the blood flow is going in your body and you can even figure out which one you would like to get more of personally for me i do enjoy keeping the similar muscle groups together but i understand if you have to separate them for whatever reason and there's no right or wrong with that either it's very much just personal preference something else you can consider with that is how many muscle groups do you realistically think you can sustain in a workout duration if we go back to my initial workout program i do core biceps triceps and shoulders all in the same day now again i'm more advanced in working out than the average person so i can handle that and i like doing things like that but if you can only handle two muscle groups a day, then that's what you're gonna to stick to. If you can only do abs and biceps, that's what you're gonna do. We don't wanna give you too much at once. You don't ever wanna give yourself too much to handle where you physically cannot move or function or possibly get injured. A lot of when I'm working with a client or if you're going to be writing a plan for yourself is being honest. You have to be brutally honest even if it's not what you necessarily want to believe that you're doing, understand that it is going to help you so much more in the long run if you are honest because then we can get you at a good starting point 
and work your way up. The next one is when will your cardio fit in? So figure out when it's going to work for you. If you're somebody that likes to go for a run, try to figure out when the best time is going to be for you to get outside or get on the treadmill. You can sign up for dance classes or do it at home, but you do want to make sure you're getting that cardio in. Now, we're going to do a whole video on cardio itself and the myths behind it and all of that. Cardio is very important, but it is not necessarily the most important thing for fat loss. It is very good balance on top of strength training. And the last thing to consider is what is going to work best for you? I've been saying that phrase throughout the entire video because it is truly important to figure out what works for you. I'm tired of people just wanting to do what influencers want to do for their workouts. I've seen a lot of TikToks recently of people like commenting, oh, what workouts do you do? And it's like just a girl who, yes, she's very pretty and her abs look great, but she's not certified to tell you what to do. She just does what works for her. It's not gonna give you six pack abs in two days or guarantee a flat tummy or a big butt by the end of the summer. It's not guaranteed because it's not your body and they don't even know probably why any of it worked for them. They just know that those were exercises that did. And it, not every exercise, not every workout split is going to be. So you really need to kind of sit down and get to know yourself, get to know your body, and it's going to be a lot of trial and error before you finally figure out what works. And the last little note I want to leave you on is to remember that you are going to want to switch up this routine. You don't want to make a routine once and then never switch it again. This goes for the exercises you're doing, the weight you're lifting, as well as the split. I'm going to go into separate videos about the exercises, but right now focusing on that split. Like I said, a month ago, I was doing three days of upper body, like one and a half days of lower body and I've switched it up, it's the reverse order now. I'm not fully sure what my next workout plan is going to look like. I'm really trying to gear more towards a little bit of fat loss right now, so it might drastically change to more full body exercises and not just specific muscle groups, but I'm not sure yet, I'll figure it out. And it comes back to that trial and error, coming back to thinking about what your goal really is and doing as much research as possible, or you can always hit up a personal trainer they can help ease some of that energy and work for you as well as show you how to properly execute any of the exercises within your split. The reason you want to make sure that you're constantly changing is so that your body never gets used to the workouts because our body can get used to workouts fairly quickly and that is when you're going to see that plateau. That is when the exercises are going to stop working for you and you won't see any more results and you want to give up. So instead of giving up, write a new routine or have a trainer write you a new routine, then your body will be like, whoa, what the fuck is this? It's gonna be more weight loss, you'll see. That is everything I have for you today. I'm very happy that you stuck around to the end of this video. And if you did stick around to the end of the video and you still haven't subscribed, what the hell are you doing? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be informed when I upload my next video. If you like, comment, and share with your friends, you may be eligible to get a shout out for me in future videos. Also, go ahead and follow my social media. Like I mentioned before, it will really help me out. With all of that being said, I'm gonna go, but before I do, I remind you all to stay positive, be active, and most importantly, do what keeps you healthy.